Alright, welcome back um, everyone to the tutorial. Um, you should be at about this point here. You've got your pipes in. I'm still not happy with this one here. Um, I'll fix that at a later date when I can be bothered. Um, for now I'll just carry on recording what I'm doing. Um, yeah, if you found it too difficult just with three points, you can add more points to your splines. I'll show you one of mine here. Um, if you have a look at the points, you can see he's got um, five points in them. Um, I didn't show you how to drag out those handles. If you've been trying and failing, you have to be in the move tool to drag the handles in and out and around. Um, if you've used um, the pen tool and the Adobe products, you'll probably be pretty sweet at moving those around and lining them up. Um, I have used the pen tool quite a bit, so I just never very good at it. Um, right, so we've got all that there. Um, we're going to want to do the same on the other leg, of course. Um, if you haven't already jumped to and done it, um, I'll show you how to move these connectors across. Um, all you have to do is simply select one of your connectors, go to the move section, I'll select that move tool or whatever it's called model tool it told me down the bottom there. I've never noticed that before. Um, still don't know what it means really. Um, just copy your connector, so copy and paste and to get it over to the other side all we have to do is put a minus in front of the X or if you started on the other e leg take the minus away from the X. I'll show you there, put a minus in there and apply. He's leapt over to the same side over here. Um, so that's nice and easy, stays at the same height and everything. Um, that helps you out with your coordinates, you don't need to type out a whole new batch. Um, what you can do is just add the minus or take away the minus from the X and create your splines and drop them in the nerve. You can see I've gone ahead and done that and my connectors match up in the right place just to show you what I was talking about. So I'll get rid of that. I'll let you guys jump in and do that. Um, so if you're watching this, pause the video here. Um, get your pipes in and done. Um, I've just done mine very roughly. I'm going to go through and tidy everything up right at the end. So you can either get it looking now or just get everything roughly in place and Come back to it later. Um, so pause here and I'll see you in a second in my time and you guys will be back in however long it takes you to get to this point here. Alright, we'll continue on with the tutorial now. Um, what we're going to do is make some panels. Um, might I'll show you how I do my general panelling over the droid, um, he's made of metal and obviously metal things aren't made of exact square edges like that. Um, they usually a bunch of panels sort of slapped together, um, so we'll give them a panel to look. Um, you don't need to do this everywhere you can be bothered with. Um, the more work you put into it, obviously the better you'll look. Um, so let's go to our feet. Uh, we want to select um, a foot there and let's go into polygon mode and we'll select the two outside polygons and we'll go to the right foot and we'll select the two outside polygons there as well. Um, foot, that's what I want, so that one and that one there. And that we made our selection there. If you hold control and click on your other foot, you'll have um, the same polygon selected on both feet. Um, I have to zoom right in to show you exactly what I'm doing here. What we're going to do is extrude the inner. So right click, extrude inner, and we just want a small offset here. So probably two or three. I'll go with three and apply that. Um, and then what we're going to do is just extrude that panel out a little. 
Uh, we'll extrude out probably two. Sounds like a good number. Uh, if you zoom right in here, you can see it's created that little bridge in there. Um, what we want to do now is just expand our selection to incorporate that. So selection uh, grow or U and Y on your keyboard. And we can deselect these front panels here now. Just hold your control and click, click. And same again on the other foot. Click, click. With the edge there, we just want to set that with our black material we've got. So we'll drag. We'll create a selection set first. So selection, set selection. You see it creates it on both the feet there. Um, black edging. And black edging. And of course, drag our black material up and our selection set down. And same for the other foot, that down to there. Alright, now we don't want that panel to be exactly square, so what we're going to do is use the bevel tool. If you haven't used that before, it basically just rounds off your edges and we'll be rounding this inner edge in here. Um, so we're going to switch into edge mode which is there if you haven't used it before. And we want a loop selection. So selection, loop selection and it's that one in there. And we've also got the same selection on the other foot. Um, they should still both be selected so you can just whip over there and grab that. And if we stay zoomed in, right click and bring up your bevel. Um, we just want a small bevel here, probably 1.5. Um, two for the subdivisions is fine. And we want a concave bevel, so it's going to bevel inwards like that. Um, just click that there and hit apply. You'll see that's moved our selection tag that polygon right out to the side here which is what we wanted that's going to create a very sort of thin look and I'll render that to show you what I'm talking about it creates that dark edge just around this and gives us a sort of panelled look across there um, so as I said we can make panels out of here and here and there and up there and everywhere um, the more work you put in the better it'll be um, so that's something to do as you go along through various areas. Alright, um, while we're here we will make a cut into our model. So we'll switch to the right hand view. Um, right or left, doesn't really matter. And we want the knife tool. I'll just zoom in so you can see what we're doing. So, structure, knife, um, where is he? Can't see him, there he is. I uh, want to be in line mode on a single cut. And we want to go just up this green line here. Um, you don't have to be too exact. So from there, just hold shift and go straight up to there, which cuts all the polygons through there. Uh, if we go back to perspective, we'll see that. Uh, let's cut through all the polygon in our feet, which gives us a point, which we'll use in the next part when we create these little arches he has. Um, I think I'm probably out of time in this video. I'll save it here and see you on the next one.